All right. So the good news is I am recording this just as something new is about to pop up. Great. You know, at least I like having more content because I was about to say that there was nothing in here yet. All right. So, uh, all right. So how do I uh, even start with this? All right. So first of all, this is Loop Finance on the Kronos network. And right, here's their chart. And at first, this was not actually here. All it was was just the single stake pool and the genesis has ended. But as I can see from here, uh, this farm is about to start in about two minutes. So what's interesting is the total supply and circulating supply all seem to have already been minted. So I, I think you just distribute these rewards. And of course, now that it's about to be unlocked, uh, this thing is actually going up right now because obviously people are getting ready to farm this thing. So I'm probably gonna have to wait on. I have to find. Uh, I think I might just do like 25% to like 200%. I'm just gonna take a guess because I don't know. I guess we'll see. Now the boardroom is not live yet. This is their boardroom, so I don't know when it'll launch, but probably in a few days. That's usually how it, how it goes. So I'm trying to figure out what this project actually did. So, okay, so they had the Genesis pool, and then I guess for like a day or two, they had a single stake where it would produce itself. So loop dollar is the base peg token, and then you deposit that as a liquidity pool token, and then you just make more loop dollar tokens. So the circulating supply is 71.6k, so good. So they didn't screw that up, apparently. So that's a very good sign. And again, if this is actually correct, all the shares have already been printed. So now it's just a matter of being uh, distributed to whatchamacallits. Now, according to their Twitter, they said that they're already connected to like... Uh, let me see... I forget where I read this, but according to this, they're they're connected to a project that already exists, and like I think they call it Loot, right? So, I mean that's actually kind of a big deal. So I was kind of hoping that they would have actually put that in like somewhere in the front page. Like they, that's actually kind of important. Otherwise, people who don't know anything or are lazy are just gonna look at this and just go, oh, it's just another tomb fork, so whatever, All right? But if you're connected to an actual existing project, which apparently uses loot tokens, that's actually really important. So, yeah. And obviously, there's just not a lot of info for me to go by. Uh, all right, let's look at their docs. Okay, so standard. Is this version 2 of LootCoin? Why isn't Loot or Looters NFT mentioned? Looters NFTs are a specific NFT that provide benefits in regards to LootPad.io, our NFT launchpad. See, this is really important. They should have actually have talked about it on their front page. And I should see links to that up here. Okay, we have to choose L and C MTs for 24-hour genesis to provide utility to them and their holders does not immediately exclude loot code from ever being used again. We will incorporate loot into loot finance with announcements to come after the thing. What am I staking where? Help, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so obviously they're their own project. They have something called lootpad.io and they're trying to you know, uh, basically create a bunch of projects that support the original project. All right, fine by me. Okay, so now that this thing is live, all right, 25%. All right, well, the good news is I can now say with certainty, uh, you know, what? I'll, I'm going to write three, 30% daily up to like 500 well, actually, the TVL is actually kind of high, so I don't know. I guess I'll just write 30% to 1,000% APR. Okay, never mind. You know, let's just do 200% because right. the TVL is going to skyrocket, so I have to figure out what this should be by the time you watch this. So definitely no more than 200%. So I'll probably just put 200%. Maybe I'll write a plus on it, and then, you know, when you watch this video, you'll see if you're going to do this. All right, so they're trying to bootstrap an old project. Uh, let me actually put this over here. 
All right, there's the thing. Okay, very good. All right, so again, pooled treasure, 0 0.07. So yeah, you do have to mint the sh uh, treasure tokens. So I don't know why it says circulating supply is this high. I guess maybe the guy just, I guess the way he has it set up is it just mints all the tokens. It goes into some kind of reward pool, and then now you're just drawing from the reward pool. I, I, I'm guessing that's what it might be. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I doesn't really matter because according to this liquidity pool here, I mean, you can already see it going up. Uh, I mean, that could be the case. But the important thing is you want to make sure that this does not... This liquidity pool doesn't have all the tokens up front, so yeah. So anyway, people are already mining treasure shares and they're dumping, so we'll have to see what the real, uh, you know, APRs are going to be eventually. But I mean, for now, the TVL is like okay, so we'll see how this plays out. Anyway, uh, let me see if there's anything I want to say before. Uh, here's the loot dollar thing down here. Okay, so not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so if you like what you saw, read or heard, uh, hit the like button, follow button, subscribe button, blah, 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 and, uh, you know, share this video around. Um, again, you know, even though I don't do Tomb Forks anymore, I still like it. I still like covering them because it's still good traffic. People still like doing Tomb Forks, and Tomb Finance itself is not dead yet. In fact, it's actually up like a couple hundred percent. You know, I didn't really check the price yesterday, though, so... You know, it's, uh, I don't know, Harry Yee's obviously trying to furiously, you know, wave his magic wands to try to save Tomb and Phantom, I guess. So, you know, it, it seems to be working. So, you know, uh, well, that being said, you know, thank you to all the, all the new people uh, watching. And, uh, I don't know, let's just keep growing the channel, you know. I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of, like, chilling and just whatever. And, and I don't know, uh... You know, if uh, whenever this channel ever reaches 10k, I mean, well, I mean, I'm just going to keep doing the same thing I've been doing, you know. So as long as I find, you know, decent new projects, right, you know, I'll keep covering things, you know. So, all right. So we just have to cover 100 days finance. Uh, so I do have a little bit to say about that, all right. And then, uh, yeah, and then I guess we're done for the day because... Yeah, and projects are pretty dry right now. People are just completely, like, flooded and exhausted from constantly dumping. And then, I don't know, there's something wrong with the markets because obviously everyone's still kind of, like, they're scared, but they're too they're too exhausted to do anything about that fear, which is good, right? And I'm also seeing the dollar index right here is actually a little weaker today. So, I mean, it looks like a pretty decent setup for crypto overall. But there's, some, there's something going on, so I don't know, I'll just find out when I watch Greg's video, but that's going to be after I finish all of today's videos, so yeah. And anyway, I'll see you in the next video for 100 Days Adventures or Finance, whatever they call themselves these days. And yeah, check out Loot Finance on Kronos. Right, this is on Kronos. I imagine Kronos is really cheap right now, so even though you're paying like a couple Kronos or five Kronos or whatever the fixed withdrawal fee is i mean it's only like what a little less than a dollar <laughs> so so it's still pretty cheap still pretty cheap yeah anyway thanks for watching see you next video